your eyes and open your ears. Look out for trouble and listen and hear. Try to be careful and you won't get hurt and be like be alert, Bert. Always be aware of the trouble out there and think about, think about, think about safety like. triple alert here. I can't even defend myself. Digit? It does not register as a safety alert at all, Claire. Digit says there is no alert, Bert. Well, you could have fooled me. Hey, look. It's Bert. Hi, Hi Bert. Bert. Hi, guys. What's up? Well, that's what I want to know. Huh? What's with all the fighting? Can't you just sit down and talk it out? Talk it out? Oh, you really thought we were fighting? You mean you weren't? No. No, we were just sparring. Sparring? Yeah, you know, using kung fu, like you see in the movies. Sorry, you lost me. It's martial arts. We study it. You study how to fight with each other? No, we study how to defend ourselves, in case we ever have to. And we get in shape. Hmm, <laughs> buzzing! Well, hey, if you wanna, why don't you come watch the three of us train this afternoon in our studio? I'm there. Hey, Bert, watch this. Hey! Buzzing! Hey, you think I could learn how to do that? I don't see why not. Whoa! Cool. Hey, Claire, I'm gonna spend some more time with these guys. So I'll see you back at the hive in a little while, okay? No problem, Bert. Have fun! Oh, Claire! Later, I'm going to visit the studio where these guys train. You want to come with me? You bet, Bert. Great. You can use your extra special pollen, and maybe you and I will get a chance to do some training. Catch you later. Hey, guys, wait up. Bert! Bert! Oh, never mind. Boy, when he gets excited about learning something, he is gone. Gone where, Claire? I do not understand your comment. I meant when Bert gets into learning mode, he loses it. Ah, uh, that is much clearer. Loses what, Claire? I meant he goes overboard. Overboard? As in a boating accident? <laughs> no! Then I still do not understand. And can we go through this later, Digit? Uncle Buzz and I need to go and do some grocery shopping. When Bert comes back, can you tell him where we've gone? Certainly, Claire. Thanks. Uncle Buzz, you about ready? You want your teddy, Claire? Why? We're going shopping. A, a bear will just get in the way. Not Teddy. Ready, Uncle Buzz. Steady? Steady as she goes. <laughs> Come on, Claire. We should get there before we miss all the sales. Teddy, ready, steady, yoy. What do you mean, yoy? That's my line. Claire? Hello, Claire. Bert? Where's Be Aware Claire? Aha! Bert? Nope, not there. Maybe she's in here! Nope, not here either. Oh, great. Now I'm stuck. I don't know how Claire ever manages to hide in this thing. Bert? Oh, this must look really cute from the other side. Claire! Uncle Buzz! Can someone push the reset button on the portal? Bert! Digit, is that you? I am not sure how to respond to that question, considering there are no other computers in the entire meadow. If you are indeed referring to... Digit, quiet for a second. I'm in a bit of a spot here. Please tell me Uncle Buzz tied the reset button for the portal into your console. I would be very pleased to tell you that. Great. If it were true. Aw, oh, man. Uh, can't you do anything? I can perform three million 
200,480 tasks per second. So push the button. I cannot. Great. Now what? If it is of any consolation, Buzz and Claire should not be too long. They have left to do some shopping. Oh, well, how long do you think they'll be? One hour, 13 minutes, and six seconds, approximately. Oh, uh, you mean I'm going to be sitting here with my behind exposed like this for over an hour? Unless you have other plans. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, talk about not being able to defend myself or anything. Good thing you can control who comes in through the door, huh, Digit? Digit? Digit! Excuse my lack of attention to you, Bert. However, you should be hearing someone at the door any moment. Great! Who is it? Claire! Let me in! It's me, Betty! Hmm. Well, she's better than nothing. Let her in, Dig. I hesitate to agree with you, Bert. However, I shall comply. Claire! I want you to stop all your studying and come outside right this minute. And what do we have here? <laughs> I'll just sneak over and... Betty, stop it. <laughs> stop it, Betty. That tickles. Betty! <laughs> Correction. It was Zoe doing all the tickling. Squeal! Betty, I'm stuck in this portal. Stuck? Yeah, as in I can't move. Zoe! Look at the poor, defenseless little bee. He is stuck. It's almost sad, Betty. Yeah, <laughs> if it was anyone else. Look, Betty, could you please hit the reset button for the portal? It's on the wall. I could. Thanks, Betty. I owe ya. But I won't. Excuse me? Zoe and I aren't ready to push the reset button, are we, Zoe? <sighs> no, ma'am. Well, can you get ready and do it now? Ooh, nasty. Did you hear that, Zoe? Uh, Poor defenseless Bert. Uh, the one who loves to tease butterflies and make fun of special little friends like you. Brother. Is being nasty. That's not a very good strategy, is it, Zoe? Uh, not good at all, your most bettyfulness. Rats. You know what I would do if... I was in his position, Zoe. No, what would you do, Betty? I'd be extra, extra, extra specially nice to the person who could free me from my stuckness. Digit, help! Please make her hit the reset button. Betty, you have had tut, your... Tut, tut, tut. Digit, don't make me come over there and turn you off. I am sorry, Bert. The butterfly has you. Right where we want you. Betty, so help me when I get out of here. Zoe, we don't have to stand for this kind of talk. I think it's time we left. No, 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 wait. Uh, I apologize. You what? Uh, we didn't hear you. Oh, for the... Tut, tut. I said I apologize. Well, I suppose that's a start. A start? What do you want from me? Promises. Lots and lots of promises. Betty! Betty! Okay, we're almost there. Promise number 67. I promise not to crack any wise guy jokes aimed at or geared to butterflies or their subspecies. <sighs> Fine. I promise. Excellent. Bert, your cousins Riff and Raff are coming up the walk. Undoubtedly, they will wish to gain access to the hive. However, they have yet another silly disguise on. Betty, hit that button, and I mean now! Oh, all right. Almost all of my promised demands have been met anyway. Here. There, you can come out now, Bert. Uh, no, I can't. Hit the button again. I'm hitting it, but nothing's happening! Uh, oops. What oops? <laughs> what do you mean, oops? <laughs> well, my work is done here. Gotta go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Was that a butterfly that just flew by us? Uh, I didn't see no butterfly. But uh, I was looking for no butterfly. There could have been one. Maybe we should go back out. Then come back in. Uh, then, if we do see a butterfly, we... Uh, 
Uh, oh. My head hurts now. Oh, come on, Raph. Let's go take a whiff of fresh air. Uh, that would be good for you. Uh, okay, Raph. I'll just keep my foot in the door, just in case we see a butterfly or, or something. <laughs> That's better. My head doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, that's good, Ref. So you want to go home now? Sure, Ref. Uh, but are we forgetting something? Like what, Ref? I don't know. I forgot. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, when we left home, uh -huh. uh, we was hungry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey! Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, On the count of three. One, one uh, two, <laughs> three! <laughs> All right, you bees. Put up your dukes. Hey, Raph. What? You see what I see? Uh, I don't see nothing. Me neither. There's nobody here. We didn't even need these disguises we made. Let's grab the honey. Wait, you think maybe it's a trap? Uh, maybe. Maybe we better leave. You mean leave without taking the honey? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Y yeah. No. Uh. I know. I say we grab a bit of honey and buzz right out of here. A bit? Well, some. A lot. Yeah, yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 a lot. <laughs> ah, look, it's, it's a stuffed beehive hanging on, on the wall. wall. Let's, Let's buzz out of here. No, Riff, Raph, wait. Ah, it's, it's a talking stuffed beehive hanging, hanging on, on the wall. wall. Let's buzz out of here. here. No, 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 it's me, Bert. Uh, Bert? Yeah, it's me. Uh, how do we know it's you? We can't see your face. Oh, brother. Oh, uh, trust me, it's me. Yeah, I don't know about that there. Okay, okay, uh, let me think. Uh, I got it. Remember last week when we were all playing football? Yeah. yeah. Riff, do you remember me hopping the ball to you? Yeah. Well, who's behind was staring up at you when the ball was hopped? Uh, that's easy. This one right here. Good one, Riff. So... So? So I must be me, right? Uh, uh gee, gee, I, that's, I don't that's know. That's tough. really tough. Riff, Raff, I'm gonna count to three, and you two are gonna pull me out of this portal. Understand? Uh, we can't do that. Yeah, no can do. One. Uh -oh. oh, no. Two. Uh -oh. one, let's, let's pull, pull out. Three. Oh. Finally. Oh, boy. I was beginning to think I'd never get free. Uh, thanks, Riff. Thanks, Raph. Uh, we're not Riff and Raph. Nope, that's not us. What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Oh, brother. You two look like a couple of rejects from a Teenage Mutant Ninja movie. Uh, okay, B. Uh, you honey, or, uh, we, uh, we fight you. Yeah. Y yeah, both of us. We fight you. You've got to be kidding. Nope. No kidding! Your honey, or we fight ya. Okay, that's fair. Raph, you first. Uh, me first for what? Come at me! Uh, I don't wanna. I said, come at me. Uh, okay. Come on, Riff, you're next. Oh, yeah. Floats like a butterfly. Stings like a bee. Did I just say butterfly? had some great sales on today, Bert. Two for one on honeycomb biscuits and... Oh, that's great, Uncle Buzz. Uh, do you think we might leave for the studio today, Claire? I'm coming, I'm coming! Patience is a virtue, Bert. 
Oh, I know. I can't help it, Uncle Buzz. I'm just so excited about going. I'm ready. All right. We have to go through the Internector one at a time. So as soon as I'm through, I'll signal you on Digit's monitor. I know, I know. Go! Come one, come all. See the ninth wonder of the world. You, sir, have you seen the ninth wonder of the world? Why, no. What is it? I can't tell you or it wouldn't be a wonder. You must step through the archway to see. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Here's my ticket. Mm. Ah, 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 a ticket. Uh, oh, here. Give me that. Oh, no. Smashing show, Ned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm through, Claire. No thanks to Ned. Your turn. Oh, and don't forget some of your extra special pollen. Already got some in my pouch. I'm coming through. Buzz? Uh, yes? You will need to take a look at the portal as soon as you can for repairs, and you will need to tie the relay switch into my physical command path, please. Uh, no problem, Digit. I'll get on it right away. I would miss this for the world. Burke, Claire, there's someone we'd like you to meet. Yeah, this is our sensei, Master Shergold. Pleased to meet you, Burke and Claire. I understand you come to learn about the martial arts. We sure have. Hiya! Well, believe it or not, Burke, the martial arts isn't all about fighting. Huh? Let me explain. We train the body, yes, but we train the mind as well. You see, the martial arts is a form of discipline. A what? A form of discipline. Where students are taught to defend themselves and to only use it when it's absolutely necessary. For the most part, the strategy of avoiding a fight always remains the same. And what strategy is that, Sensei? Walk, or if necessary, run away. Really? Yes, because you don't want to get hurt. The potential is there. But I thought you learned how to fight. You do. You see, the beginning students, what they do is they work with other students in sparring, and they develop their self-defense that way through repetition. But you know, in the real world, you could come across someone that could be very hard to handle. So what I do, even though your skill is there, what I do is I teach the students to avoid a fight at all costs. Would you care to join us today? Sure! sure. Okay, we'll come this way then. You should try to walk away, use any means to take flight, but there may come a time when you have to turn and fight. Here we go, Ralph. Okay. He's the Lehigh Kung Fu Fighter. He's the one with all the moves. Yeah! Kung Fu! Yeah! Kung Fu! He's a Lehigh Kung Fu Be with all the moves. He's only in it for protection, staying safe for empty fruits. Training's just a thing to get you through us, but it's always good to be in shape. That's what we've all been taught. Do you learn that grip? Okay. He's a Lehigh Kung Fu fighter. He's the one with all the moves. Hiya! Kung Fu! Hiya! Kung Fu! He's a Lehigh Kung Fu fighter. He's a Lehigh Kung Fu fighter. He's the one with all the moves. Kung Fu 
arrive at the hive in five, four, three, two. Hi, I'm Be Alert Bert. And I'm Be Aware Claire. Today, when I was stuck in the portal, I got a chance to know what it feels like to be totally defenseless, and it didn't feel very good. I'll bet. I also learned that being defenseless is one thing, but actually having to fight and defend yourself is another thing altogether. Right, Bert. The first thing we learned about fights is that it's best not to get into one in the first place, even if someone is being mean to you. Like the sensei said, walking or even running away is still the best strategy. Yeah, avoiding a fight is the safest thing to do. And the smartest. Right. If you really need to defend yourself, though, we learned how training in the martial arts can help. And studying the martial arts can really get you in shape, as well as build character. I can't believe all the work and training those kids go through, Bert. I wonder how much training you need before you can really defend yourself. That's a question I'd want to ask a martial arts teacher. Good idea, Claire. And finally, when it comes to defending yourself and fighting, we want to encourage you to try and talk things through before a fight breaks out. Yeah, go to a responsible adult for help in avoiding and, when necessary, breaking up a fight. If it's at school, go to a teacher. If it's in a mall, go to a security guard. Always look for someone you can trust to help you. Well, Claire, that's our show. I'm Be Alert Bert. And I'm Be Aware Claire saying, See, see you next time. time.